لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. نعم. So Sheikh Abdul Razak, may Allah protect and preserve him and his father. He said this hadith, the hadith of Abu Hurairah رضي الله عنه, that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the مؤمن is the one who the people trust yani with their wealth and with their lives or with their lives and with their wealth this is from amongst many hadith which the author rahimahullah has brought for clarification of the definition and explanation of iman this is from amongst many hadith that we have covered until now and that this hadith yani clarifies to us that iman كما أنه يشمل الأقاعد بل يقوم عليها فإنه يشمل كذلك الأعمال أعمال القلوب وأعمال الجوار يعني that this hadith clarifies for us that iman just as it includes the convictions that are in the heart rather يعني that iman is based upon that يعني not only it includes that but it also includes الأعمال it also includes deeds deeds of the heart and deeds of the body, the limbs of the body. Yani just as it includes what we believe in, in the heart, it also includes the actions of the heart and the actions of the limbs of the body. وَمِنْ هَذِي الْأَعْمَالِ And from amongst these, yani that this hadith points to, from amongst these deeds, these a'mal, these actions, is that a person, يَقُونَ الْمَرْءُ بِسَبَبِ إِمَانِهِ Yani due to his iman, a person would not subject another person to any kind of harm. And because of their iman. And that's why the people who don't have iman, they harm without hesitation, without limitation, without any concern whatsoever. But the person, yani from the deeds, from the deeds that are a part of iman, he said from this hadith, is that a person be sabab imanihi due to his iman he doesn't subject other people to any kind of harm fannasu ya'manunahu and therefore as a result of that the people trust him they trust him lima ya'lamuna min halihi wa salahi amrihi wa ma yarawnahu min zahiri imanihi yani so the people trust him due to what they know from his condition from the uprightness of his affair. Yani from what they see, min zahir imanihi. Yani outwardly, from the outward appearance of his iman. Yani the manifestation outwardly of his iman. As far as, yani, the inward manifestation of iman, that which is in the heart, then nobody sees this except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Walakin lima yarawna fihi min athari, min atharin lihadha al iman. وَأَثْرٍ لِلصَّلَاحِ الْقَلْبِ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَأْمَنُونَهُ But due to what they see in this person, the effects of the iman that's in his heart, the effects, the manifestation of the uprightness, the goodness, the righteousness of his heart, the outward manifestation of that, due to that they trust him. Due to that they trust him. So they see actions of a person outwardly, that is a manifestation of what's in the heart and because of the outward actions they trust that person with the most precious of what they have yani which is their blood and their property then the shaykh mentions the the wording of this hadith as it came in tirmidhi the full wording of it he said yani al muslimu man salim al muslimun min lisanihi wa yadi yani that the muslim is the one who the muslims are salima they are safe from his tongue and his hand wal mu'minu man aminahu an nasu and the believer is the one who the people have entrusted with their dima, their blood, with, and their amwal, and their wealth. هَذَا يُوَضِّ لَنَا الْفَرْقْ بَيْنَ الْإِيمَانِ وَالْإِسْلَامِ He said this hadith, in the two parts of it, makes clear to us the difference between iman and Islam. فِي iman, he said, concerning iman, he said, أَمِنَهُ النَّاسُ The people themselves have entrusted him with the most precious of what they had. In Islam, he said, Salim al nas min lisani wa yad. Yani that the people are safe from his tongue and his hand. The people are safe. But with Iman, they themselves have entrusted him. 
with the most precious of what they have. وَلَا شَكَّ أَنَّ الْمَرْعَ And there is no doubt that the person who has reached this level, that the people entrust them with their lives and with their property, then this indeed is a greater affair than the one who the people are safe from, their tongue in their hands. Naam, the people are safe from a person's tongue in their hands. This is a tremendous affair. But that the people themselves have entrusted a person with the most precious of what they have is another matter altogether. فَالْإِمَانُ أَمْنٌ يعني إيمان يعني is يعني security uh, and for this reason it came also in the dua at the time of the sighting of the hilal in the beginning of the month the new month the Prophet ﷺ said Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amni wal iman Allah يعني allow the new moon to come upon us with amni with security and iman was salamati wal islam and with safety and islam يعني the Prophet ﷺ in this supplication, he said, Al-Amni wal-Iman. That Iman is a, yani, a means of where people feel secure. And Islam yani, is a form of safety. People are safe from somebody because of Islam. So Iman is Amnun. And Islam is Salamatun. And the likeness of this completely, yani, com- yani perfectly, is in this hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said that the Muslim is the one who and he people feels their people are safe from him, and the mu'min is the one whom the people themselves yani, have entrusted. Yani, due to their feeling secure with that person, they have entrusted with the best of what they have. The Shaykh says, What in this hadith is the point that we are yani, want to focus on concerning our topic of Iman? Is that in this hadith is an indication ala dukhul al amal fi musamma al Iman. That in this hadith is an indication that actions, outward actions and inward actions, that actions themselves are a part of iman. And this is as the shaykh, the author, rahimahullah, says, yani that, yani this hadith indicates that the correct iman causes the one who has it to guard and take care of the amana, the trust, when it is given to them. And it also prohibits them from al khiyana violating that trust to such an extent that the people themselves trust that person with the most precious of what they have, that is their blood and their property.